This is the video for Introduction, Programming Fun and the P-Code Engine. A P-Code is not a programming language, but a set of actions. Each action has a function to perform it. The functions are written in the present language. In the case of an internet browser, the language is JavaScript. You do not need to know all the code that is needed for the browser to perform a particular action. You just need to point to the action's data. This reduces the complexity of the program. The JavaScript program that performs the actions is called the P-Code Engine. The engine executes the actions directly from the source. The source code is the, ex is the execution code. A special editor is not needed. The engine knows what is required. A P code makes programming fun because it significantly reduces the number of code lines you need to make and it has features that the browser does not provide. You can see the data changing as the app is running. You can advance the execution of the app by a few instructions at a time. You can change the values in the app's program while it is running. These features allow you to check the logic and design of the program. A P-Code app can be used to create another P-Code app. The engine has the ability to create another app. Parts of other apps can be copied and then pasted into another app at any time. A routine is a portion of the app's code that performs a specific task and is relatively independent. When the app is broken down into routines, it makes it easier to follow the logic of the app. A routine may consist of many actions, but they are all related to the performance of the specific task. The main program calls the routines in logical order. The routines are placed in subprograms. You can execute and copy hundreds of P-Code routines when you click on pause in the red stripe. That's up here. You can copy routines from any of the HTML5 P-Code apps listed at the bottom of this page. That's down here. When you are building your app, you should not hesitate to copy routines from other apps. You most likely will have to change the routine to perform its task, but you know it should work. There is a lot to learn from routines written by someone else. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. This is also true about the design of your app. If it is very similar to another app, use that design. The more you program, the better you will get. They will copy your routines and your designs. There is a YouTube playlist about routines, P-Code 101, and a playlist about design, P-Code 102. At the bottom left, there is a link to P-Code 101 and 102, The Art of Programming down here. P-Code 101 teaches you how to create P-Code routines for your app. It consists of 10 topics. Each topic has a list of YouTube videos to view. P-Code 102 teaches you how to design apps. It consists of many apps that have YouTube videos about their design. After viewing the videos for Pico 101 and Pico 102, you should be able to create your own app.
The best way to learn how to program is to program. You can start by changing someone else's program. This Pico makes it easy to load an app, change it, and save it as your app. When you study routines, you will find they are more than the sum of their parts. I find that the code and examples shown on the internet is too simplified, just the top of the ocean. JavaScript is a difficult language to master. It is not fun to program. Yes, the people that have mastered JavaScript are well paid, but I don't think they live happy lives. This is the end of the introduction, programming fun, and the P-Code engine.